The HL Nublet Center is focusing on enhancing security protocols after a man was shot while playing basketball. Sydney Davis has more details on what the community's feelings are since the shooting's occurrence on Monday. On Monday, Owensboro police say a man was shot twice in the leg after a verbal argument with the person at the H.L. Neblet Center's basketball court. It appears that the victim and the suspect know each other. Uh, the victim was playing basketball and him and the suspect uh, exchanged words in a verbal argument uh, when the suspect produced a gun and fired two shots into the victim's leg. Officials say the victim survived but was taken to the hospital for treatment. Police say they are still looking for the suspect and have no doubt that people know the person's identity who fled the scene. Neblet Center officials say recreational activities have been suspended until further notice, while daycare services continue to be provided. I trust the Neblet Center. I know that they're going to do a great job about implementing security uh, steps and whatnot. Uh, but I really hope that maybe some mental health professionals kind of get involved here and see if we can do a better job with our community about mental health uh, assessments. And they are. The center released a statement saying the physical and mental health of the children is their top priority and as a result are offering counseling to those impacted by this week's events. Alfreda Thompson-Williams says she grew up at the center, has been a part of Morning Joe, and is a volunteer in several capacities. Back then it was just called the Center on Fifth Street. Morning Joe is a program where the community can eat donuts, drink coffee, and have conversations about the city's happenings and change they would like to see. I got a phone call. I was in my house when someone said all of this stuff was going on in the center. I went back to my room and I, I prayed and I shook my head. It's like, this is not happening. The Nebus Center has always been a safe haven. Williams says the incident is unfortunate, but she pledges to be a mentor to the youth in any way she can, so the center can return to changing lives and changing times to its fullest capacity. For children who want to go to the community center, number one, to get out of this heat, to play, to have organized sports, to have games, even a meal, to be around positive men and women, the center is still a great place. Sydney Davis, Eyewitness News.